In our previous video, we did an exercise to understand how a safety relay is wired. And many times you'll have a device such as this PowerFlex 525 on your safety system. And yeah, we got an old soldier looking thing right here. And that means that this is what we call a safe torque off drive. Now this video is not meant to make you an expert on safety. This is just to help us have a general understanding for troubleshooting. If you actually need to learn about safety, you need to take a class in something such as TUV Rhineland Certified Safety Engineering. But in basic terms, a safe torque off drive will stop without the need to interrupt its power circuits or its motor circuits. So if you pop the cover off your PowerFlex 525, then you have three red terminals and it will be factory installed with this jumper. And this jumper's S1, S2, and S+. Plus. And when we try to integrate this into a bigger safety system, we get a little confused on whether we should go to the plus or whether we should go to the minus. So just adding on to our existing safety system that we did here, that S1 and S plus, in some cases, again, you need to actually check your application. They could end up going to the 14 and 24 that we talked about in the last video. So we're going to do that. We're going to take two wires and we're going to hook them up in addition to our existing wiring. And we're going to connect one of those wires to S1, which is the left terminal. And we're going to connect the other one to the S2, which is the middle terminal. And then we power up our drive and we press our green button on the drive because I have this one enabled to run in keypad mode. And it does nothing. And... The same basic question that we ask ourselves on any electrical troubleshooting will work here as well is, do I have current? Because right now we're taking plus 24 volt from this power supply over here it's through that relay to our S1 and S2 terminals. How is it getting back to the minus of our power supply? And here's where usually people freeze in terror because they're like, I don't think I can hook the common of this one to the common of that one. Will it blow something up? Well, if you think you're going to blow something up, then it's best to look in the manual. And if we actually check out the manual for this safety relay, they actually have this very connection diagram in here. And we see S1 going to our plus, S2 is going to a plus. And then we have terminal 4 coming around to the 24 volt minus. And if we check out the PowerFlex 525 manual, Terminal 4 is the digital commons. So even though we have this S1 and S2 just seemingly isolated by itself, because this S plus terminal is coming around to this plus 24 terminal, it also means that they are going to share the same digital common. So now what we need to do is we need to take a wire from the digital common terminal number 4, we're going to take it to the minus of our power supply, which is the right-hand set of terminals. Now we power it up. We press our safety reset. Our green button starts it. We press our e-stop. That stops it. Try to start it again. It won't start. We reset. And now we can start again. Now, if you jumped into this just hoping to figure out how to wire your PowerFlex 525 safe torque off terminal, you're going to need a little bit more information. And while I'm not going to give you that, I do want you to go through why do we do safety. So I've created this playlist right here that'll help you understand that.